France has been rocked by massive protests after the killing of a 17-year-old by a police official. Now, the condition is such that the French special forces have been deployed. 45,000 police officers and armoured vehicles have been positioned across France and almost 1,000 people have been arrested so far as riots surge in the cities of Marseille and Lyon, which are badly hit. Gun stores have been looted, several fires have been lit, there is massive looting in premium brand stores, shopping malls are being attacked as well. The French president has convened a second crisis meeting with his cabinet in two days as the situation spirals out of control. Now for more on this, we're being joined by Bastien Massa, he was a journalist, he's based in Paris. Welcome on board, Bastien. Good morning, sir. Bastien, now let's just start off. Back-to-back -back cabinet crisis meetings, deployment of French special forces, armoured vehicles and police officials in tens of thousands. Just how bad is the situation that they're needing to make such, uh, you know, conditions which they're deploying? We have to understand that the French police is, and French government is not used to this kind of protest or riots. It's more used to organize uh, unions uh, protesting in the street, like uh, from a point to another point. But here we have in every city an organized movement from youth, uh, looting and like walking, attacking police station. So French police is not really organized. And I think at this time, the government is hesitating. Um, they don't want to go back to uh, 2005 uh, violence in France. At this time, uh, for t maybe two weeks, you had like violence all over France in all the suburbs, and a lot of buildings and cars have been burned. But if you look at uh, what's happening now, Today, the French uh, Ministry of Interior, uh, Gérald Darmanin, declared that this night has been quieter than the past night. But if you look at the figures, it's still higher than what uh, French um, had to face in 2005. So the situation is still really tense. And we can feel that the government is hesitating. Um, on one side, they don't want to... to to repress harshly the protester and the looting, the looting, because it could lead, lead to a death, another death of a young, which could steer even more protests. And on the other side, they are pushed by a part of the population, a French population, to uh, to repress and to act in a in a strict, uh, in a strong way, um, and to bring back the authority of the state in these cities. So the government is still hesitating on which approach. Uh, um, implementing. Bastian, now you mentioned about the youngsters which are there on the streets and all the violence that is ensuing. Yes, France has seen worse, but these kind of protests are definitely hard to tell. Is there any specific reason why such a young kids, minors, are out on the streets and doing such things? Yeah, because this youth is mostly uh, the youth in the suburbs and the youth that are like uh, coming from uh, immigrants' family. Um, mostly is uh, their parents or grandparents came from uh, Algeria, Morocco or Africa after the decolonization. And they were, uh, they had to, to settle in, in outskirts of the city. And these outskirts are poor uh, area with a uh, few services, uh, most of the time like transportation, schools, um, are really like th that's not where the state is putting all this money so they try to change like go different government governments they try to change this but this use feel uh, discriminated and feel a lack of opportunity or of future and when you don't have to to lose uh, a lot you start to to express or to to accumulate a kind of anger against government against journalist against like other part of the population and I, I think that's what we are exp uh, experiencing and facing now. Right, Bastian, now there are several cities and I hope I get the pronunciation right here, Nanterre, Lyon, Marcel, Paris, where arrests mm. have been made in the hundreds and t crossing thousand now while the protest expands in France. Can we expect this protest to spill over into other European nations as well? I feel that 
it's a little bit different in other regions. If you take, for example, what led to this protest is the death of a, a young uh, Nahel. He was killed by the police because he, he was at the car and he refused to uh, to stop and he ran over. Um, but if you if you look at the figures in France, it's almost one per month, like one dead per month. If you look at Germany, it's one per year, maybe. So we have to ask ourselves or ask like the French authorities have to to ask and to review their doctrine of like uh, law and order. Um, but on your question exactly, yeah, you, we can have a, we, there is a risk of spillover in Belgium, for example. Uh, last night or the night before, uh, a lot of uh, protests erupted in, uh, in Belgium with the policemen uh, hurt and um, cars burnt. And so Belgium has a, a, a situation quite similar to what's happened in France. For the other country, I don't know. Right, so it's already started going beyond France. Belgium is already, you know, it's, it's witnessing these kind of protests and it can expand further. Now, the youngster who was unfortunately killed is said to be of Algerian Moroccan descent. And you are mentioning that people from this region are there in France since a few generations now. Can you give us a sense of how volatile the demographic is in France in terms of the different ethnicities which reside there? I think it's... The demography is, of, of course, like uh, you have immigration and you have like a, a higher demography um, within this population, uh, immigration or like descendant of, immig uh, of immigrants. Um, but, you know, the far right has uh, this idea or this doctrine of grand remplacement, great replacement, replacement, which means that we are going like, oh, originals. Uh, French population are going to be replaced by migrants, by West Africans and North African uh, population. Um, but I think that's not the main focus we should have because we should be asking why these specific youths are uh, expressing violence and are looting now. Um, I think we should focus on economic, re economic uh, reasons and social reasons. Right. Um, Maybe as a, as a young, uh, as a 14 or as a 17 or 18 years old Algerian descendant, when I'm trying to find work or I'm trying to apply for, uh, yeah, apply for a job or to rent an apartment, if I feel discriminated against, I will start to accumulate frustration and anger and I will feel not included in, or not, yeah, not part of this society. And I think when the situation is good and when the use has all the possibility the tools or the possibility to be um, to be included in the French society um, we can see that there is not this kind of violence and and that's the, the main question and the main issue we have to, to right. solve Bastian now minors as young as 13 years old have been arrested. They are the ones who are on the streets and everything that we're reading about, these shops getting looted, these malls being attacked, it's, it's these minors, majority of them, who are carrying this out. Now, mm. uh, what I wanted to understand, is there something specific that they are demanding? Is it just angst? Is it a hidden agenda somewhere else? Is it just spiraling out of control for, for any specific reason? Because it's already going past uh, France already. So, what are they wanting? Uh, I think everybody has everyone has his own theory like uh, if you take french president emmanuel macron he declared that uh video games and violent video games had a lot of bad influence of, uh, on these issues uh for me i even if it can be the, the case for me i think that as a young when you are 13 14 uh you are part of a group and even especially in this closed area like suburbs and when you see older brother or like older uh, people like uh, 17, 18 going out uh, in the street to protest and you don't have like the authority um, I mean you don't have strong parents or parents who are like uh, telling you stay at home and be quiet uh, you will you, you will go to the street and you will do like the others and we saw uh, videos of parents going out in the street and taking their children uh, back home um, and I think we have to question also this because the policy has not to be the only authority because 
when police is acting, it can be really violent and there is no uh, sensibility or there is no emotion. But before police, like parents or school, has to be at the front line of education and to tell your the children, don't loot something, don't attack uh, people like this. And yeah, I think it might be a lack of education or authority among the, the society in general. So various theories behind what is causing these kind of arrests. Of course, it all got triggered by the death of a 17-year-old minor who uh, was shot by a police official. Now, his mother has said that uh, I don't hold all you know police officials responsible. I hold that police official in particular responsible for this. So I think it is a responsible statement from in a way which could perhaps curtail the violence going forward. But thank you so much for joining in, Bastian. That was Bastian Massa, journalist based in Paris, talking to us about the spiraling protests in France. Yeah, welcome. Thanks a lot.